So hello everyone, it's your girl once again, Bola, also known as Strictly Dishes. Welcome to my channel. So on this channel, I teach you how to cook. The easiest steps you can follow, I give you, I show you step by step on how you can be a pro in whatever I'm bringing to you. So today we are going to be making a goosey soup. Yes, it is one of the most common soup in Nigeria. The English name of the this soup is actually called melon soup. So let's do this together. In a heated pot, I'm going to pour in some palm oil. Yes, I'm going to pour in some palm oil and allow that to heat up. You can see that, but not bleached. Just allow to heat up. I come in with my tomato and pepper and onion already blended and i just allow that to fry then i come in with the chairman of the occasion which is a goosey i have made this a goosey into a paste i'm actually using four cups of a goosey so i added water to this a goosey and just turned it into this paste like form and i'm putting it into the pot just like this just do this carefully no hassles and just do this and watch how your egusi is going to come out i am not turning this immediately i allow that to cook or will i say fry for about five minutes before i turn i didn't turn that immediately so this is me now turning this egusi and i'm going to reduce the heat because i want this egusi to fry one thing you don't want about your egusi is having that burnt smell ah burnt egusi for me is a no-no so at this time i reduce the heat to the barest and allow this egusi to fry you see this is what our egusi is looking like it is fried it's well fried and you know some of you will say i don't like eating egusi soup because it runs my stomach it makes me have stomach upset this is a secret allow your egusi to fry very well before you bring in other ingredients look at how this egusi is looking crisp i come in with my sliced momo and i come in with my boiled beef i put that in i'd already boiled this beef earlier and my stock fish cleaned and washed i come in with my stock fish and also cow head yes i like using cow head because i like the way it feels it's so filling in the mouth i'm sure if you've tried this you would know what i'm talking about i come in with three seasoning cubes already crushed i just put that in and also salt to taste i also come in here with my crayfish yes the next thing i'm going to be adding here is my crayfish one tablespoon of crayfish just like this and also i'm coming in with my meat stock yes so the meat stock i got from boiling my meat i'm just going to pour that in so at this time if you want your egusi watery you can add water and anything but for me i don't like watery egusi i like my egusi thick and that is how i enjoy it and i'm just going to cover this and allow i'm going to just stir it just a bit and if you notice while i'm stirring you can see the egusi is already looking good and i'm going to stir this and cover for about 15 minutes and now it's time for i guess you didn't know i guess you didn't know that egusi seeds are rich in vitamin a which is crucial for forming and maintaining healthy bones egusi soup are high in vitamin b1 and b2 which are both important for growth and productive production of red blood cells but now i'm coming in with a but today excessive consumption of melon seeds can cause weight gain so if egusi soup is the only soup you like eating please remember that it can cause weight gain thank you and now you know so i'm adding three smoked croaker fish to this egusi soup hey, hey this is looking yum yum i'm not using pumpkin leaf i'm actually using bitter leaf and i'm also going to finish that up 
which oozes that leaf because I like the heat oozes that leaf brings to my soup. And you know, if you are if you're conversant using oozes that leaf, you would know that oozes that leaf. Um, will I use the word doesn't um um it doesn't die like I, I'm not sure if it's the word die, but it's it's um I like the fact that it doesn't melt off easily inside the soup. And now this is our soup. Our goosey soup is looking like this. So if you follow this process, your goosey soup should be looking like this or better than this. So did you like this video? Was it helpful to you? Please like, share, give us a thumbs up, send in your comments, and please and please subscribe to my channel. What will you be using to have this goosey soup? For me, it's pounded yam or nothing else. Will you be using eba? Will you be using fufu? semo or whatever for me it's pounded yam as we speak my yam is on the fire getting ready to be pounded so tell me in your comment section in the comment section what you'll be using and don't forget eat healthy stay healthy from strictly dishes